I don't know what it is about you, Olivia, but I think I'm falling for you. And that don't make no sense. Doesn't have to make sense, Adam. Seriously, though, I can't stay here with you. I gotta go back. I understand. We can talk about that later. Seriously, Olivia, why'd you pick me anyway? Because I always love the hero. Hell, I don't know if I'm a hero. I can't believe you're here with my dad. You've got perfect timing. I swear here, Trey, I'm not gonna let you get married to that. Helena, this is over. You will leave my son alone and never bother us again. Very well, Trayvon. You win for now. Helena, I win forever. Dad, it's over. You didn't have to kill her. I did, Trayvon. You do not understand. She would not have stopped. I'll have my men clean up this mess. You, go you and your friends go home. I didn't have to kill her. I think this was part of his plan from the get-go. Well, how about we figure that out when we get home? I am definitely going to figure this out when we get home. He is up to something. Great. Okay, Zach. Now that we've got the decryption codes and everything's going to be online by tomorrow, we'll have those shields up. Thanks for your help. You are welcome, Richard Astor. Now I must complete my final mission for my Master Kravitz. Wait a minute, Zach. Mission? What mission? My Master has uploaded his consciousness into my memory. I must bring it to his new clone body. What? A new clone body? Zack, I'm coming with you. I am sorry, Richard Astor. I cannot allow that. But do not worry. The Master has plans for you. What do you mean he has plans for me? I cannot explain them now. I must go. You're not going anywhere, Zack. I am sorry for this, Richard Astor. Alright, y'all gonna let me know if you get any magical pickup signals, right? I'm gonna scout around and see if I can see anything from where he was taken. Dad, don't worry. Armadara is on this. If there's magic out there and Adam's near it, she will find him. Don't worry. Don't even know why she'd take him anyway. He ain't got no kind of magic. He's human. He's also a hero, Dad. My goodness, my baby's up there. Please, you have to get my baby. Don't worry, miss. My brother's up there. Go find your baby. <laughs> Who are you? I want my mommy. I'm scared. It's all right. Listen to me. My name is Andrew. I'm here to help you. I'm going to get you off this roof. Can you trust me? Okay, sure. I'll trust you. How are you going to get me out of here? Right, now, I have powers. And I'm going to be able to lower you down to your mother and my brother. Okay? And your name is? Anna. Right, Anna. I want you to follow me to the end of this roof. Okay, now I just want you to relax. I'm going to use my power to lower you to the ground. You're going to be fine. Mommy! Sweetie, let's get you checked out. See me fly, Mommy? That was awesome. Alright, little brother, that's enough of the hero stuff. Come on, get down from there so they can put that fire out. Okay, I'm on my... My God, Drew! You're going to be just fine. You'll be alright, Drew. Alexa, you have to promise me that you're not going to do anything evil, please. You, Bryce, I would do anything. Now what are we going to do for the rest of our time here? Much as I would love to stay on the bed with you, I've got to get up. I've got to help my family. Allow me to come with you. I want to explain to your family. I promise I will behave. Look, you're not the one I'm worried about behaving. It's my dad. He's never going to accept you. Trust me. Your father just needs to get to know me and know that I'm not going anywhere. Look, I promise I'll try to talk to them. Just please stay here for now. All right, my love. I'll wait here for you. Your family will never come between us, Bryce. I won't let them. All right, father. We're meeting because of your family's nonsense. Now, if you hadn't have brought your father here, and he hadn't have released his father, we wouldn't be dealing with any of this darkness nonsense. Oh, I knew you'd find a way to blame me, son. Now, listen here. We must all work together, including our good relatives, to take my great or my grandmother and your great-great-grandmother back down to the darkness and out of this galaxy. Father, now that you've stated the obvious, how are we supposed to do this? Do you even have a plan? Do you ever have a plan? Oh, I have a plan. You're going to hate the plan, but I have a plan. We need to get the Alliance back in charge. It's the only way to make my grandmother leave this galaxy. Absolutely right. I hate that plan, but it's all we've got, so let's do it. 
Big Luna, we really didn't want to bother you. I know you're not technically open yet, but can we get a couple of drinks? Because it's a total mess out there. And of course, you two kids can have some drinks. I know it's a mess out there, baby. I, for one, am glad to see that you're okay, Kyle, because I do kind of have a mission for you. That is, if you're interested. Yeah, yes, Big Luna, I'm interested. But come on over here and let's discuss the details. Tell me honestly, Big Wanda, should I be worried? I mean, Kyle has pretty much disowned his family for her. Honestly, baby, with my sister, I have no idea. Oh man, my head. Where am I? Maxine? Where's my gun? Where are you? To find a way out of here. Good, I'm glad to see that you're awake. Now we can talk about our future. What the hell are you talking about? We don't have a future. I don't know you, you don't know me. Oh, Eden, but we have plenty of time to get to know each other. No, hey, Maxine, we don't. I'm not staying here. Oh, but you are staying here, Aiden. There's nowhere to go. We're in a dark void. Listen, Maxine, I'm sorry, but I have a fiancé, so this is never gonna happen. If she's dead, you don't. Dead? No, please, Maxine, don't! No, please! Where did you go? Rena? Mom, I just came into... Oh my god. Dad. Ian, my son, what are you doing here? Ian, please let me explain. Don't worry, Dad. You don't have to explain it to me. The galaxy's just going to crap, and Aiden got kidnapped by a goddess. Your brother's been what? Drasila, you have to let me out of here now. Right, John, but if I do that, she's going to come after you. I don't care, Drasila. Let her come. Right, my love. Thank you, Drasila, for releasing me. You've proven that you've taken my side, finally. John, always remember that I love you. I know that, Drasila. I love you, too. You guys both realize I'm still here, right? See, and we do. Now come on, let's go save your brother in this galaxy. Please, both of you, be careful. Don't worry, Mom, we got this. Oh my goodness, are you okay? It's Nico, right? No, actually, I'm not okay. I just found out that my mom was one of those goddesses that... The darkness brought here. Wow, I'm really sorry. If you need someone to talk to, I'm listening. Thanks, I really appreciate that, but I don't even know what to say about it. I mean, what am I supposed to do now? I suggest you go back and talk to them. You shouldn't shut them out. They're still your parents. I'm sure they care about you. Yeah, you're right. Thanks for the talk. You gonna be in these hallways often, you know, in case I need another person to talk to or have a breakdown? Well, you never know. I might be. <laughs> Good luck, Nico. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to be in these halls every day. Yo, Lisa, you wanted to see me? What's going on? Is this some kind of ambush? Because I've already had that from Mom and Dad. Of course this is an ambush, kiddo. You are not going to be working for Big Luna. I'm not going to allow that. If I have to sit on you and hug tie you and get you to tell her that yourself, I'm going to do it. Lisa, I really don't want to fight with you, and it's really none of your business. I can do what I want. I'm 17. I'm sorry I'm being rude to you, but I have a job to do for Big Luna, and I'm late. Oh no, he did not just walk away from me. Mary, get my rope. Yeah, this family's a mess. Now there's no one standing in our way, Caden. Aw, oh, damn it. Shanna, you actually drugged me and kidnapped me. What the hell? Sorry, Caden, but it was the only way I could get you alone with me and away from your grandmother and all the other Aster drama that's going on. Okay, so let me get this straight. You think that you're saving me now? Look, Shanna. I just lost Odisha. I am not ready for this, and especially not with you, because you're insane. Caden, I am not insane. I am keeping you, and no one else is going to have you. Now I'm going to go get us something for dinner. Oh yeah, she's not insane at all. i got to get the hell out of here. Oh, Maxis. Oh no, what have you done? I'm home. Where's my mother? I'm not staying here. I'm sorry, my prince, but I had no choice. Mother must prepare for what's coming, and you cannot be involved. That's it then, I have no say. I'm 18 years old now. She can't do this. Right, that's enough of this talk. Maxis, leave us please. My son and I need to talk.
Really, Mother, so now we're resorting to kidnapping. You do realize Mondra and the rest of my friends will come for me. That galaxy and all of your friends and family are going into darkness. I will not let you anywhere near there, and that is the final word. Yes, and of course it's only going into darkness because you're helping her. How could you, Mother? All right, that's it. This discussion is over. You will stay here. Maxis will get you something to eat, and I have to go to a meeting. I will never forgive you for this, Mother. Vanessa, I can't believe this. I've been looking for you. You have not returned my phone calls. Look, um, Quinn, <laughs> what we had was just like a fling. You don't need to get all serious on me. Now, if you'll excuse me, me and my girlfriends have some things to do. Loser. That's all she cared about me. She used me. Never trust women again. Well, that's enough reminiscing. Time to move on. Oh, Ethan? Is that you? Well, my boys, it's good to see you again. I am disappointed, Vaughn, that you are no longer dark, but we can work on it. Oh, please, Mother, spare us the theatrics. What do you really want here? You don't want this galaxy. You hate this galaxy because of our father. So why are you really back here? Now, Volgren, I know that you're mad at me for killing your father, but he needed to go. Plus, I want to meet my new family. They're so interesting. Oh, please stop this, Mother. I can tell that you're lying. Even though we don't remember each other anymore, I can see right through you. You're lonely. You want your darkness to spread. You can't stand it that this galaxy has more light. Well, I must admit, Vaughn, even without your memories, you're smarter than your brother. Yes, I want to spread my darkness. And why not? My family is here. Right, that's it, Mother. We've had enough of your nonsense. Come on, Vaughn, we're leaving. Tell your children and grandchildren I look forward to meeting them. He's going to be all right, right, Mom? Yes, of course, Christopher. Your brother's going to be fine. He's an aster, although he does have a broken leg, four broken ribs, a fractured wrist, a broken collarbone, a dislocated shoulder, a broken pelvis, and a concussion. That's just great. What's the recovery time, Doc? Oh, he should be completely healed in at least two days. Three at the most. Well, that's good to hear. I'm going to go tell Tila, and I'll tell him I'll check in on him tomorrow. Oh, Mum, in a lot of pain. Is Anna, the little girl, is she all right? Yes, she is fine. Now you lie back down. You've got a lot of bones to heal. Yes, son, and we're proud of you. You're a hero today. Thanks for that, Dad. I'm just going to lie back and try to get some sleep, if I can. You do that, son. We're going to let you get some sleep. I will check on you a little later. Okay, Mum. Oh, true. I came as soon as I heard. Are you all right? You look like you're in a lot of pain. Oh, Abe, you can't be here. How did you get in? That doesn't matter now, because we're leaving. What? Leaving? No, you cannot do this, Eve. 